You ever notice how the US dollar is like that friend who always gets picked first for the team? No? Well it is. In the global financial system everyone wants to be buddies with the buck. But why is the dollar so popular? Why is it the Beyonce of banknotes, the messy of money? Grab a snack folks, it's about to get interesting. Picture this, it's 1944, World War II is winding down, and the world is in a state of flux. The war has left economies shattered, infrastructures in ruins, and nations grappling with the aftermath of years of conflict. The world's economies are as messed up as a teenager's room, with financial chaos reigning supreme. Countries are struggling to stabilize their currencies and rebuild their economies from the ground up. In a bid to restore order, a bunch of countries get together in Bretton Woods, New Hampshire to figure out how to avoid another economic meltdown. This historic conference brings together some of the brightest minds and influential leaders of the time. After intense discussions and negotiations, they decide to create a system where currencies are pegged to the US dollar, which in turn, is linked to gold. This new system aims to provide stability and predictability in international trade and finance. Essentially, the dollar became the world's trust fund kid. With its value tied to gold, the US dollar gained immense trust and credibility on the global stage. It had gold backing it up, which made everyone feel all warm and fuzzy inside. This gold standard gave countries the confidence that their reserves were secure, and it laid the foundation for the post-war economic boom. The Bretton Woods system marked the beginning of a new era in global finance, one that would shape the economic landscape for decades to come. Fast forward to the 1970s, a time of bell-bottoms, disco, and significant economic shifts. The US decides it's done playing by the gold standard rules, a system that had been the backbone of global finance for decades. It's like the cool kid at school ditching their uniform, breaking free from the constraints that once defined them. But the dollar's reign wasn't over. Oh no, it had a trick up its sleeve. The petrodollar system, a new strategy to maintain its supremacy. The US strikes a deal with Saudi Arabia, the kingpin of oil, ensuring that the lifeblood of the global economy would flow through American currency. Saudi Arabia agrees to sell its oil exclusively in US dollars, creating a demand for the greenback that would ripple across the globe. And in return, the US promises protection and some sweet weapons deals, solidifying a partnership that would shape geopolitics for decades. This agreement essentially forces other countries to use dollars for oil transactions, making the US dollar indispensable in the global market. Further cementing the greenback's dominance, this move ensured that the U.S. could wield significant influence over the global economy, leveraging its currency to maintain a position of power. This strategic maneuver wasn't just about economics. It was about control, influence, and the ability to shape the world order. The petrodollar system became a cornerstone of U.S. economic policy, intertwining the fate of the dollar with the global oil market. As oil continued to be the world's most crucial resource, the US dollar's role in oil transactions ensured its continued relevance and dominance. This clever financial engineering allowed the US to maintain its economic hegemony, influencing global markets and policies through the power of the dollar. And so, the story of oil slicks and dollar bills is one of strategic brilliance, economic foresight, and the relentless pursuit of global dominance. Now you might be thinking, what's the big deal about everyone using the dollar? Why does it matter so much in the grand scheme of things? Well, imagine being able to buy anything, anywhere with your home currency. Whether you're in a bustling market in Asia, a quaint cafe in Europe, or shopping online from the comfort of your home, the dollar is accepted almost universally. That's the power the US enjoys. This widespread acceptance gives the United States a unique advantage in the global economy. It's not just about convenience, it's about influence and control. Plus, since most international transactions are conducted in dollars, the US can get away with printing more money without its value plummeting like a lead balloon. This ability to print money at will, without immediate repercussions, is a significant economic lever. It's like having a magical money tree that never runs out of leaves. This metaphorical tree allows the US to maintain its economic dominance and navigate financial challenges with a unique set of tools at its disposal. So, will the dollar's reign ever end? Some experts predict the rise of other currencies like the Chinese Yuan. But let's face it, the dollar has some serious staying power. It's like that comfy old sweater you can't bear to throw away. 
The U.S. economy, despite its quirks, is still a global powerhouse. Plus, the dollar benefits from inertia. It's just easier for everyone to stick with what they know. The U.S. dollar's journey to the top is a tale of historical coincidences, strategic maneuvering, and a bit of luck. It's the currency equivalent of that friend who accidentally tripped and fell into a pile of money. But hey, all hail the mighty dollar, the currency that proves money really does make the world go round.